sometimes when you get the photos back, they surprise you with how good or bad they are. <laughs> I've, I've heard. Two weeks after my last photo walk trip thingy, I wanted to try out another analog camera of mine, the Minolta XG2, also known as the XG7 in North America or XGE in Japan. This particular unit holds a dear place in my blood pump cavity organ part of my body because it's the only SLR that's been with me since back when I was growing up. My dad found it in the basement earlier this year and gave it to me along with a couple of lenses. Needless to say, I was extremely excited to see it again after all these years, so I cleaned it up and put a battery in it to make sure it worked. Which it did. Well, everything but the light meter, unfortunately. But that's okay. I bought this little TD Artisan external light meter with a cold shoe mount that works well enough, and if that fails there's always the Sunny 16 rule, as well as numerous metering apps available for smartphones, so I should be fine. I'm planning on making separate videos for the actual cameras and lenses that I have, so I'll try not to get too gear focused here and now. Is that something you think you'd be interested in watching by the way? If so, is there any particular camera body or lens that you'd like to see featured? Head on over to my Instagram account where I've posted photos of many of my cameras and drop a comment here below to let me know which one you'd like to see more of. I promise I'll read them all and reply to as many as I can. Many if not all of my cameras have a pretty cool backstory that I'd love to share so please help give me a reason to. Like I said in the last video, I've more or less accidentally managed to build a pretty extensive backlog of these photo walk series. In other words, I've seriously fallen behind in editing them together. Meaning this one, for instance, happened almost a year ago and we've been on numerous walks since. We've captured every single one of them on video one way or another, so you will get to see them all eventually. But the format has changed slightly as you'll probably notice if you stick around. While on the topic of sticking around, have you subscribed yet? No worries, I'll wait. Also, don't forget to watch the earlier videos I've posted recently, because if you like this type of content, chances are you'll probably enjoy them too. As mentioned earlier, I got the camera together with two lenses, a Tokina 35mm f2.8 prime and another Tokina 75-150 f3.8. But that meant I didn't have a faster, slightly tighter prime lens for this system. Something that just had to be remedied quickly. Said and done, I found this Minolta MC Rokor PF 50mm f1.7 for the MD mount in near perfect condition for next to nothing from a German eBay store. I think it was like 35 euros or something like that, so a bit of a steal I reckon. Now, sadly, this wasn't the best photography session I've had. I mean, we had a nice enough time and all that, but I feel like I definitely fell short in the photography department this time around. So much in fact that I'm even a bit reluctant to show you the results. The shots are mostly just not good. But after all, I'm not making the series and including my photos to show off, but rather to present you with whatever I could capture during the circumstances and whatnot. Actually, why am I doing this? So with that in mind, here we go. You've been warned. Anyway, the footage you're about to see is from April 9th of 2022. Just like the week before, we got up way too early and headed outside just before sunrise. It had just snowed a little, so the ground was mostly white and it was a particularly frigid morning. It was hardly a comfortable situation, but we figured it could make for some cool photos at least. Pun intended. <laughs> well, good morning. It's 5.34 in the morning and we um, decided to go out for a little shoot. And I'm bringing the Minolta XG2, which is full of childhood memories. <laughs> it's in my family for, well, since I was a kid and probably before that. Um, the light meter is shot in this one, so I'm using this TD Artisan light meter thingy and uh, hopefully it works the way it should. I have no idea. It was snowing yesterday and uh, it's around zero degrees and the um, sun's about to rise, so let's go try snap some photos. We made our way towards a nearby field, passing the mansion-like building that our neighborhood is named after, and a few hundred meters further before I found the location for my first photo opportunity of the day. All right, so this thing tells me one one twenty-fifth of a second at f2.8 with the film speed of 400. Let's see what this renders. Cool. 
click. Nice shot of that hotel. I'll sell it to them for millions. Moving on, soon enough we saw Brennkyrka Kyrka through the trees in the distance and decided to head in that direction to hopefully catch some sunrise shots of the graveyard or something. While stopping to snap some photos on the way, obviously. Alright, already tried a couple of photos out here, but it's really cold and my body doesn't handle the cold very well. My eyes are tearing up, and, but that's fine. Everything's just a little bit blurry. Hopefully the uh, photos are less blurry. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are no clouds whatsoever. The sun will rise above the horizon in about five minutes, and hopefully that'll give us some shots. We're thinking about heading up to that church up there. I've gotten a few shots already, but nothing, nothing spectacular. I, I think sometimes when you get the photos back, um, they surprise you with how good or bad they are, <laughs> I've, I've heard. All right, so I'm getting a metering of f5.6 at 1 250th of a second, like a half stop overexposed, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm using the Minolta 50 millimeter f1.7 see how that does. Maybe. Maybe. Whoa, that's overexposed. Maybe if I turn the dial in the right direction. It's getting really bright here now. One five hundredth of a second. At f5.6, should do it. Maybe. After this, we kind of just walked around the tombstones for a bit, trying to find good compositions among the decomposing post-humans. And I managed to take this extremely grainy photo of Emma. as well as a couple of other ones, including this photo of the church with the sun finally starting to peek out from behind it. We needed a battery change in the uh, Lumix G9, so I figured I'll take the opportunity and swap lenses to the 35mm f2.8, I think it is. Let's see how, how that works. Okay. Emma is free to go back to taking photos for herself while I do something similar. It's weird with these lenses, both the 50 and the 35, doesn't really seem to focus to infinity. So I'm not sure there might be something wrong with the focus mechanism in the camera or the lens, I don't know. But that would be two lenses that would have the same problem. So we'll see, maybe if these photos come back, they'll be all out of focus, all of them. Uh, we'll find out, I suppose. The sun finally started showing itself and I was waiting for it to cast some golden light upon the facade of this brick structure. I am waiting for the sun to hit that thing. The sun's right over there, so. I'm on shot 25 out of 24, so we'll see if this one turns out. I don't know. Do have another camera in the bag. That was the last shot. Strangely, I got 25 shots out of a 24 shot roll. Just a little bit alarming. Either the first one or the last one didn't <clears throat> turn out probably. I'm hoping the first one didn't turn out because I think these are better. I like this shot, unfortunately, I don't think it turned out great. Towards the end, I ran out of film in the Minolta, but it also brought what has probably come to be my favorite camera, the Canon FTB-N as a backup. 
It's built like a tank and fully manual, plus it's absolutely gorgeous to look at. Just, I mean, just... Yeah, it's amazing. At least as far as I'm concerned. Only downside is that its ergonomics are beyond terrible and it's heavy as a really heavy thing. But anyway, I digress. More on the camera in a future video, but I'll show you some of the shots here as I took them on the same occasion. I had one of my first ever vintage lens purchases attached to it. The almost antique Canon FL 50mm f1.4 from the mid 60s. It's not the sharpest piece of glass in the world, but I wanted to try it out and I thought it would fit well on the FTB. In hindsight, it's probably better used for video where lack of sharpness is arguably a good thing. And that's actually why I got it in the first place. At first, I wasn't going to include this last segment, with it being another camera with only a few shots taken and all, but then I figured since it happened during the same walk, I'll throw them in as a bonus. Anything for my viewers. All right, so I ran out of film in the Minolta. So here we have the Canon FTB with the 50 millimeter F1 4FL lens and a skylight filter on for some reason. I loaded it a while ago, so hopefully I did it correctly. This meter says green, f5.6, one five hundredth of a second. So let's see. Let's make it a little bit brighter. One stop overexposed. Let's see what happens, same shot. Maybe. Sun's up and we are freezing, so I think we're heading back home. By this time, Emma had completely given up on filming me and had run ahead home to get warm and make coffee. So I had no one to get footage of me taking photos. I guess I could have used my phone more, but it really was freezing cold, so I couldn't be bothered doing that very thoroughly at the time. I did snap these shots on the short walk back to our apartment, however, so you can judge the quality of the lens by yourselves. Finally indoors in the warmth and with a well-caffeinated bloodstream, I recorded this closer clip in our living room while Emma caught up on her sleep for a bit. Which is why I talk really quietly and weird. Sorry about that. I won't show you the whole ramble, but here's the gist of it. Alright, I'm gonna make this really short. And try to talk a little bit quietly, because Emma went back to bed. So we were out for, I don't know, an hour and a half. Just around the neighborhood here. I ran out of film in the first camera. <laughs> Luckily, I brought the Canon FTB. I was gonna make a separate video on this one. Same story here, I don't know if it works. But good thing is, I can take the roll out of the uh, Minolta and have it processed. All in all, very good morning. Also, I just realized I failed to mention where this little outing took place. Well, this time we just walked around the area where we live, in a suburb just south of Stockholm. The church we passed is called Brännkyrka Kyrka, which roughly translates to Burnt Church Church? Or why not the Church of Burning Churches, if you will. <laughs> no, that's not what it means, but I, I guess it could. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time.